Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Horror Mia episode 4. So Mia and Toru are about to make up. They had a bit of a fight. A bit. <laughs> they bashed the shit out of each other last time. Well, actually, no, Mia bashed the shit out of Toru. Mm -hmm. um, the bros still love each other. I respect that's right. that. Yeah. That's on Toru, I think. <laughs> They're both really nice. No, they are. You're right. They're both really nice people. The two characters, Mia and Hori, professed their love for each other in the last episode as well. And they held hands. <laughs> it was cute. It was so cute. Really wholesome. But I'm just looking forward to the bromance in this episode. <laughs> That's what you're here for, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Yeah, I don't think the paper killed him or anything. Oh, they locked eyes. How are you, dog? <laughs> yeah, which is probably a bunch of nothing, the rats. Mm -hmm. Kali, I don't know. There's chemistry. I feel chemistry as well. Is that her? He wants to join now. <laughs> he so is! Oh, that's nice. Okay, they're mates all of a sudden. I reckon he's scared of Mia, that's why. Maybe. <laughs> oh, come on. They're one of those people. They, they broke the rule, the unspoken rule. What's that? If you're invited somewhere, it's just unless you. you are told you can bring a plus one, you don't bring a plus one. That's a wordy, <laughs> that's a wordy rule. Well... Whatever you ask. Yeah. He can't catch a break. He's got a crush on you too. He's got a crush on everyone. <laughs> but now she's going to be all shy around him. No, maybe she'll, she'll be more comfortable around him. Oh my gosh. He thinks they're kissing and shit. <laughs> Hugging and holding hands. Wait. What? I was going to predict that they were going to say something funny. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> He's gonna die. Oh no, this is a mess. <laughs> She likes him. That's sweet. I shipped him big time. Yeah. Purple and the green. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It totally is, is it not? Why are you asking me? You know I sleep in pajamas. <laughs> no, but for guys. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying I, I do necessarily. <laughs> Taking things to the next level this episode. <laughs> he thinks they're a thing, like everyone else. Aww. Yeah, he's just comfortable to strip down like that in front of her. It's yeah, too hard she... to be talking about this crap. Yeah, she just went crazy psychotic there yeah, for a sec. Yeah, she did. She did let a little bit of psycho out. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. Shindo looks nice as. He does. <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. I see. <laughs> okay. That's worth getting flustered over for sure. And now he's getting flustered again. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't hear a... Oh dear. Hey. Double girl. Gotta delete it. Oh, he wants to go on a double date. Oh. <gasps> That's usually how my phone calls go. <laughs> <laughs> He's going too fast for him. Is that what it is? He doesn't want to get his hopes up because she doesn't. He doesn't think she even considers him a friend, let alone more. He's overworked. Oh no, he's gonna go bad. How does he? Oh dear, he's gonna lose his mind. No, I think she's gonna get angry because he deleted the message. Oh. oh I thought they were in different locations. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> he just goes for it! He should be in jail! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Chindo's copped it real big. He loves it. He's going to keep going now. As long as he gets a response out of him. <laughs> oh, no. The thought that counts, okay? It's not the brightest spark, unfortunately. Fuck on that. Oh, Shindo's the goat, man. Yep. <laughs> See you later. Oh, yes. King behavior. He's not stupid. He's not stupid. He knows who to hang out with for sure. Yep.
all it takes is one person. She's overworked or something. She's sick. Remember she was saying she felt like she had a cold? Yeah, I know that, but she was like, during summer? Mm. Run down is the word, right? Mm. What a good kid. <laughs> He's cute. Aww. Oh, that's sad. No one's ever looking after her. Is he actually there? Or is she dreaming this? Aww. That she might die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Every time she's been sick, her mum's been at work and shit like that. Cute. Cute, that's sad. She's either dead or, or in a deep sleep. Or she's no, got like the most shock look on her Yeah, her eyes are open. Oh, she knocked out the meds. What? No. She, she heard it. Yep. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> What's Dr. Mia there? <laughs> she fixed her right up. I don't think he knew she was awake. <laughs> oh. oh. More things to change because they're so good. Oh. He's done that a couple of times now, hasn't he? Yeah, with the hand holding episode, they kind of both said it, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, they have to look into each other's eyes and say it. Yes. One by one. With their eyes and their hearts. Uh, he 100% probably said it because he thought she was asleep. I don't think he was ready to properly. Yeah. I don't know. It's adorable. Him looking after her. I know. It's so sad that, like, when she was a kid, she had no one there. To look after her. She just had to tough out when she had a little cold or something mm -hmm. like that or a little sickness. I'm sure her mum's still at least told her what to do but like it's a shame that no one was there to look after her right and you know when you're sick you're like vulnerable you want is like yeah, cuddles and yeah, like yeah, yeah. comfort and not just someone to feed you but someone to like you know okay yeah. like you know mm -hmm. the comfort factor wasn't there yeah and then she had all of those feelings uh bottled up and then i guess made it known to mia mm -hmm. it was really nice what he said as yeah, well yeah that was really sweet he just knew what to say in that situation yeah I thought his friend was great. Shindo, is mm, that his name? What a legend. Yeah, I feel like you've got good self-awareness to kind of reject another person or so-and-so friend like that. He just kind of left him in the dust. See ya. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you're not going to be friends with us, then... For that, for what stupid petty reason? No, yeah. get lost. I'm not going to hang out with you. I love that. Yeah, I thought it was really good. You got to... Because at the end of the day, this like trivial high school or middle school crap it doesn't matter like no if you think friends and status are the most important thing like being part of the popular group or whatever mm. when you all leave school that means nothing like it literally means nothing yeah yeah that's right so i liked that lesson there and i like i like it how he just liked mia for who he was and all of that's mm -hmm. kind of like toru now and and hori 
and all that. Speaking of Toru, it looks like he's got another love interest, which is I great. Know. That is so cute. I kind of love that for him. I do as well because when you find out he's got a bit of a crush on Hori, you kind of feel bad for his situation and then Mia steps in and obviously those two characters are made for each other, but then you, you can't help <laughs> but feel sorry for Toru. And I know because he's a good guy. He's a good guy and he's so nice to Mia and understanding, great friend to have. I know. You don't want to spend the series watching him be jealous or upset. So it's good to Exactly. Ha- it's good to have him like... Interested in someone happiness. else. Yeah, what was her name? Got her name, but um, she seems nice. She does seem nice. She's part of the council. She's obviously very smart. About the council. So that's another thing that's obviously <laughs> been like sort of ramped up a little mm. bit is that that tension that was there in the earlier episodes has kind of fizzled away and they, they're all kind of friendly with each other, I guess, at, at this point. Some time has passed. Sengoku, I think his name is. He seems all right. <laughs> he does. Yeah, he does. He was all right. Like, he was just conducting business, I guess. He was being scummy. And he had that weird thing with Hori, do you remember? Yeah. Where, like, they were friends and then... No, I think a lot of that story was made up, though, by Hori. Okay, forget about that. Oh, I can't remember, but yeah. Um, yeah, he was sort of just wanting to go about things in the appropriate manner. And I'm pretty sure it was all silent, but, it, like, the camera panned out and you saw him, like, apologising, I'm pretty sure. About, you know, blaming her for the yeah, yeah, work yeah. and stuff. She's not like a terrible guy. No, no, he's, he's more not. the girl with the um, pink hair that I was pissed off with about that situation. But yeah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fine. They've all got kind of like... Well, me is gathering a little bit of a friendship group, which is completely like foreign to him, but... Yeah, I want to meet his, his fam. I don't know how much about his personal life we're going to get to know or learn. I'd just like to see at least a relationship with one person that's like... Close and good. And for them to be, you know, really happy for him that he's got friends at school, that would be wholesome. Mm. But I would understand if he didn't have anyone like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what to expect on that side of things. Mm. Um, But, yeah, it's always nice to see him kind of have someone to lean on, I guess. He's got a couple now. Yeah. Um, And I think both the main characters, I think they're kind of being more comfortable in themselves and all of that now. I'm just waiting for him to, like, take the plunge and just be like, yeah, she's my girlfriend. Like, you know, at school and stuff like that. Yeah, but he's got to, like, ask her and stuff I know that. So I was going to ask. He seems so hesitant because he doesn't know what she's thinking. and Well, he's assuming what she's thinking. I guess she's given hints. This always happens in anime. The characters give so many damn hints. Mm. (laughs) But, yeah, I I think... Yeah, I get it, though. She needs to fully come out, right, and say something. Yes, yes. And then maybe he'll he'll be on board with it. Otherwise, he doesn't really want to announce it to anyone Mm. it's kind of cute it's protective in that way it's like he said to his friend he's like i'm all right with that joke because i know my feelings about her right or towards her but he's unsure how she's like i don't think she would like that so you shut your mouth friend (laughs) she's the only person scarier than him maybe as well true yeah thank you so much for watching our reaction if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe it would really help us out for early access to all of our reactions you can support us on patreon if you'd like And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.